A Tale of Two Mics. That's a classic. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. For Christian conservative politicians named Mike, last week was the best of times and the worst of times. Former Vice President Mike Pence dropped out of the 2024 presidential race, succumbing to a reality many of us saw a long time ago. Shocking. While backbench Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson rose to Speaker of the House after four other Republicans failed to get the votes. The divergent paths of these two men tell us more about today's GOP than the fact that they share a white bread first name. The reason why this mic is rising to Congress's top spot while this mic is fading to obscurity defines what the party is all about. Let me explain. First, consider all the ways these men are the same. Mike Johnson, like Mike Pence, was first defined within the party by his strong religious views and his advocacy on culture war issues. Both mics fought gay rights and gay marriage tooth and nail. It's wrong. Johnson went so far as to advocate for a law that criminalizes gay sex. Watch out, Mike. I'm gonna be doing some crime in tonight. Let the debauchery begin. Both Mikes are staunchly pro-life and have fought for national abortion bans with almost no exceptions since the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Both Mikes were leaders in the Republican Study Committee, a group of traditional conservatives in Congress that have taken a hard line on budget issues. Both Mikes don't think the government should do anything about climate change. Both Mikes are an extremely rigid marriages, with Pence committing to not spend any time alone with another woman, and Johnson committing to a covenant marriage that makes divorce basically impossible. What, are you worried about something? What does Mike Johnson think about any issue under the sun? I said, well, go pick up a Bible off your shelf and read it. That's that's my worldview. And from 2016 to 2020, both Mikes were enthusiastic supporters of the thrice-married compulsive liar who mocks all their beliefs and can't come up with a single quote from the Bible. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible verses are. The Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. So if their political identities are this similar, why would one Mike's career be in tatters while the other is ascendant? Want to take a guess? It's the coup, obviously. Oh, well, that old thing? I know, I know. Us never Trumpers and media types are so obsessed with January 6th, but one of the many reasons we have to care about it is because it's the main issue that MAGA voters care about. Really? They might pretend to think it was no big deal or that it was secretly the FBI or Antifa that did it, but the results show that the reality is GOP voters are committed to the Trump coup above anything else. There is no other rational explanation for the trajectory of these two Mikes who are fundamentally the same guy. Pence is Johnson, Johnson is Pence, except for one fateful decision. Joseph R. Biden Jr. has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump has received 232 votes. And here's the grossest part of all. It's the one who made the right decision. Pence, who has been politically punished for it. He's now headed home to mother with his head between his legs, having not even made it to the first vote in Iowa. It's over before it started. Meanwhile, Howdy Doody Johnson, who not only went along with the coup, but spread the most insane conspiracies about rigged voting machines and actively whipped his colleagues and encouraged them to nullify the legal votes of people from states they weren't even from. That's the guy that's headed to the speaker's chair. <laughs> Maybe not the best. And that's our shit show of a reality. As long as Daddy Trump keeps his stranglehold on the party, going along with his anti-democratic plot is the party's ultimate resume booster. The price? Your soul. See you next week for more Not My Party. For more episodes of Not My Party, smash that subscribe button. And scan right here to subscribe on Snapchat, where you can get the episodes first and all the Not My Party content you desire.